What's going on, peeps? It's Wrath here, hanging out today, playing some Idle Heroes. I want to thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. If you liked the video, don't forget, smash that thumbs up button and show your support. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. Alright guys, we're here on the seasonal server, and I'm telling you guys, I have a problem. <laughs> I have a problem. My problem is, I always wait too long to do stuff on seasonal, because I want to put it in a video. And then if something else comes up, I gotta put that in a video instead. And I end up really behind. So I don't know if I need to start just doing double uploads and like recording twice on days where I gotta get stuff done on seasonal. Just because if I don't, I always fall behind and I drag my team down and I hate that. But today, we've got plans on seasonal. Alright, first up, we've got all kinds of 9 star food stacked up. I'm ready to start E3ing some units. Um, but the problem is, like I said, I should have had this done like two days ago. And I didn't. So I've been dragging the team down for a good solid two days. I am sorry. I am sorry, but before we jump into doing that, we've got just a little bit of stuff to do first. Um, tin scrolls and some profit orbs, so we'll knock those out just to knock them out, see what we can snag. I have not gotten a karma all season. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I mean, all I need is one karma to make my karma a nine-star karma. Can't get one. Um, and that was a disgusting tin bomb, by the way. That was probably one of the nastiest I've ever run. Uh, we got four super chips. I'll go ahead and use those two while I'm here, just because... There's a chance I'll get some more orbs. If I get more orbs, then I got more orbs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I can use them. That'd be good. Um, if I get Heart Watcher, that's also good. I could definitely use a Heart Watcher. Or I could just get Monster Bloods, because that's obviously what the game is telling me I need. And it's actually not a lie. I do need it. There we go. There's some orbs. I'll take them. I will absolutely take the orbs. Give me some more orbs. I'll take some branches as well. So, normally I would go balls deep and go all in on forest for my orbing. However, however, being that I need just one stupid karma, I'm so I'm tempted to just go looking for karmas. But it seems like a really bad idea. It just seems like a waste of my orbs, being as I need a bunch of heart watchers, a bunch of roses, a bunch of Edgars, a bunch of everything in the forest faction right now. I'm thinking. You know what? We're just gonna stick. With Orbing Forest. It's the main faction. I'm doing an all-forest team. I might as well get a bunch of forest units. I would expect a Karma will eventually drop somewhere in the game. Just, it's going to happen. There's no way it won't happen. It's Karma. She's not super rare unless you need one. And then she's the rarest unit in the game. Um, so that's nice. It's always nice when that happens. We'll just blast through the rest of these. Mainly food coming in, but that's not a big deal. If you're going to go all in one faction, you're going to need a lot of food. Um, so, we're going to get that. We're going to get that a lot. Boop. Boop. Now, when it comes to replacements, the same question pops up. Should I be replacing my forest units or my shadow units? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. We're, we only got four. Let's try and snag a karma out of one of these. Just because I want one. I just, I can get a lot of baits, bait everywhere. If I replace bait, guess what I get? I get Dominator. It's a, it's a never-ending circle. And bonus one. Nope. No Karmas. Karma's just not going to be a thing. Thanks a lot, Karma. Thanks for screwing up my day. You're awesome. Um, it's not really, but it's a thing. So anyways, we've got some footage here. We'll go ahead and pull the five stars out. The four stars can wait a little bit. I don't need them, like, right away. You know what I'm saying? I don't really, I don't really need them right meow. They can wait a second. They can be put on the back burner. So what we got now... We've got a 10-star Dragon Slayer, and we've got 9-star food literally out the butt. But we need a 10-star food. Luckily, I can do that. I can do that with a 10-star B-Rog, and it's going to be a thing. Now, one of these seasons, I will have to actually use the Balrog. It's going to have to be a thing. Um, but this season is not going to be a thing. We're just going to go ahead and get him woken up to bam. Looking good. Looking hot. I like it. I like it much. Good-looking Balrog. But what we need him for mainly is just for food. So that's what we're going to do. Let's jump over here. Oh, wait a minute. I've got to do some reloading of the game. You know what I'm saying? Boop. And reload. Because I use my purple goo up, and if you use purple goo up, you're kind of screwed. Um, so, yeah. Got to get it back. It should be back now. Also, we got... Oh, yeah, we got our 10-star thing. Give me that. Give me that right meow. What is this? Ooh, the field's compass. Hot. Not super hot, but it's okay. It's all right. We do have a block artifact. Now, I was kind of wondering. Doesn't give him any HP. But it does give him attack. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. How about you? How about how would you feel about that? Well, like you feel pretty good about it. We'll leave it on you. Faceless, you're welcome. You're absolutely welcome. So let's go ahead and we can now indeed make this dude 
an 11 star, so let's do it. And I think we should be able to take him to 12 straight away, um, but I'm not a hundo sure on that, um, because like I said, I don't know how much we're, purple stuff we're going to get back, because right now, like I said, it doesn't give it back to us. We got 4,000 for some reason. You just have to reload the whole server, and when you reload it after you do the nine-star foods and whatnot, then it gives you some of it back. Um, so we're back to 14,000, so we are just a little bit short. I think we need 15,000 to get this guy up higher. So we might have to do a little bit of farming. A little bit of farming in a certain area place. Um, what do we need? Hmm. Hmm. We need extra dots on him, like when he gets hit. Flame skin. Oh, they nerfed the balls out of it. We'll use it anyway. We'll use it. It will double up on his damage over time, which I need. I need damage over time right now, my Dragon Slayer, or I can't beat my tower waves. Should be able to beat this one, hopefully. I tried it the other day, and I lose it. I lose it because Ilaria drains the attack of Dragon Slayer, and he was dots were hitting for, like, a damage, and it just didn't happen. I was timing out. My Dragon Slayer had, like, full HP, but you know what I'm saying? I just, I couldn't kill everything, and it made me sad. So hopefully, be able to get it to happen this time. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Heart Watcher stayed alive. It's looking good. If I can just take this down, get me a couple more hundreds of the spirit, we can get this guy at least to E2. And then once he's E2'd, I can probably just take a break um, from recording and just farm up the Tower of Oblivion really high, get as much as I can, and then come back and make him E3. That's the idea. So we might have to take a little bit of a break in between the video to farm up some purple gooage, but... Looks pretty hot for that first round. Let's go ahead and get you back in the front line, though, because why not? Um, and you know what? Do you know what? I probably should be using one of my 10 stars in here, but, you know, whatevs. Balrog just on the sidelines for now. I think we'll be good. We shouldn't have too much issues taking these guys down. I don't think. They do get a little bit of healing, but I think we can overcome it with all the damage over time. It shouldn't be a big deal. These guys aren't that bad. They shouldn't be, but of course, like I said, Dragon Slayer by himself, not the strongest unit in the game. He is really nice for early on, though, because he does tank a lot, and he has a decent amount of damage. So, there we go. Suck it! We'll definitely make some back. How much do we need, though? How close are we would be the question. Okay, so we only need, like, what? 170 more? That's perfect, because I would get that in one more tower battle. Let's make it... Oh, it's gonna be easy. Bades. Psh, get wrecked, Bades. That's going to be an easy... We just next that one. That's not going to be a loss. I can guarantee you that. Um, so here he goes. Now we're at 15,000. Let's go ahead and get you up to E2, D-Slayer. Let's be awesome. Bam, and, bam, and, bam. So we're down to five purple goo. We should get about 10,000 back, though. He's up to 3.2 million HP, which is pretty hot. Ooh. I don't know if we're going to make it to 290 with him yet. That's okay. What else do we need on this guy? For an enable. Extra health would be kind of nice, but in most cases, it's not my health that's getting me killed, it's my damage. So, we could run something like a bleed on his basic, or we could just go ahead and buff him all around for attack and just give him mightiness. I think I'm going to run mightiness. It's not a huge bump to him, but it does give him some extra attack, which is going to help scale with his dots, which is what I want. I want him to do more dots. That's what I want. Um, so we might have to take a little bit of a, a break here. Actually, let's go ahead and reload the server and see just exactly where we're at um, with our purple stuff. And then come back and go ahead and make him E3. I'm sure we can make enough to get him to E3. I would hope so. We might not be able to, but I would think we can. So we're already back to 15,000. That's absolutely perfect. Um, we only need, what, 5,000 more then to make this guy? Ooh, that's a lot. That sounds like a little bit, but it's actually not. Um, yeah, 5,000 more spirit purple stuff to get this guy to E3. Can we do it? It's a lot of farming. We're going to try. So we're going to take a little cut here. We'll come back when hopefully I've got enough purple goo. And we'll see if we can get him to E3. All right? All right. All right, peeps. We're back. We did some farming in the tower. We did manage to get up to 366. I can definitely go higher, though. My Dragon Slayer is not really taking any damage right now, which is hot. But we got 20,000 spirit. That's all I... Or the promotion spoons. That's all I needed. Get that Balrog in there. Let's go ahead and get this guy up. To the hot E3 action. Like, bam. There we go. So now we've got our fully maxed out Dragon... Well, kind of fully maxed out. I don't know if we're going to get him to 290. Absolutely not getting him to 290 right now. Do I have anything looting here? I do! Yay! 21 millions. That still won't go a long ways, but it'll go some ways. It'll give me some stuff. So here we go. Let's try that. 5 million. Ooh, wow. 
We can get you at 286, so you're looking all right. Almost 4 million health. Not the best Dragon Slayer out there, but keep in mind, he only has 5-star gear on. Um, actually, oop, I got a couple 5-star sets on now. Um, I didn't know this. I think I might have mentioned it before. This is now repeatable, so you get a lot. And I've had a bug where I was actually getting two sets of the 4-star gear every time I did a 9-star fusion. I don't know if that was a bug. But it was nice, and I totally exploited it, and I definitely used all of those to fuse up 5-star sets. Um, but there's also 6-star sets class-specific now on the private server, if you guys didn't know that. I've known it for a little bit, but I hadn't said anything about it because it just never came up. But I could fuse a warrior set or something for my E3 Dragon Slayer, which would be really cool for my analysis videos to have a fully pumped up boss mode Dragon Slayer and stuff. So I'm down with that. I think it's pretty cool, and we'll see how it goes. But right now, we've got our almost max 286 Dragon Slayer. I'm going to show you kind of how he does in the tower right now, just because. Um, I didn't put an enable on him. Stupid butt. That was me. I am dumbs. He doesn't do a ton of damage just with his basic attack. The big thing he does, though, is his dots just kind of stack like crazy, and it eats people up, and they don't do a lot of damage to him. He's like, yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing just fine. And he is. He barely lost any health. Enemies just slowly tick away with that dot stacking up. Because they're getting a double dot when they hit my Dragon Slayer. Now they get both the Ignite and they get his passive that also ignites them when he hits them. Plus his active skill drops a burn. Um, so he burns the living balls out of people and he just doesn't take much damage. Which is nice. Absolutely nice. So he's kind of butt wrecking right now. He does slow down later game. I'm going to go ahead and put that out there. But for right now, he's doing really well, and I'm happy with it. Um, do we have any mar marauders, really? He's not a marauder fighter, and she heals when she gets hit by dots. So there we go. You don't get healed when you get hit by dots. There we go. Let's try it like this and see if we can't get decent damage. I don't expect a lot because my team is not really built crazy heavy for PvE right now. We'll get there. My faceless build's going to be ob obviously top-notch. Um, actually, she doesn't seem like she'll be terrible now when she gets 10-starred. I'd like to 10-star her pretty soon just to kind of see if I get that Karma copy, it'll be a thing. I can go ahead and get her to 10 and start seeing her new 10-star version of awesomeness instead of just her 9-star old vanilla stuff. Um, that'd be a that, That's the idea. That's what I want to do. Get her 10, check out her new stuff. When we get Edga maxed out um, and Heartwatcher and Rosa, we'll have a decent decent supporting damage plus i think we'll i think we'll do okay this season not god tier damage dropping or anything but i think it'll be fun it'll be a good time my damage is not obviously going crazy high as you can see here we're not hitting like super stupid hard or anything but that's okay i don't expect to do crazy huge damages the dots are mainly where my damage comes in from i would say dragons are obviously going to carry the team but we'll see we'll see what it ends up as it's not crazy but it's better than nothing and that's what I'm all about. Better than nothing is where you want to be. Um, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Here we go. Last round defeated. Only 9 million damage. So again, that's not amazing. If you're building a straight PvE damage team right now, you're obviously putting this to shame. But it's not bad. It works pretty well. When I get my Faceless 10 star, I'd like to see how much that damage changes, getting the new passives and such as well. Um, we'll see how it works. For right now, Zs. Nothing super amazing going on. Um, we do have a guild boss fight. I think I did 5 million damage to it before. I want to say. No, I did 8. 8.7. So we'll run one more just because. Um, you know, why not? Why not run? Oh, my balls. I forgot again to put the enable on. Stupid face. Ugh, guys, I feel like I'm fully on retarded right now. I do this every time I make an enabled unit. I can't just get it right the first time. I'm like, oh, yeah, I got the first enables on. And I totally forget to put the third one on. So... My Dragon Slayer is actually weaker than he could be. Um, I don't know what I'd run on him. Like for PvE, would I run Spell Control? Uh, I don't know. Maybe crit after round four just to kind of help um, his heals. Because anytime someone crits, he does get a heal. Um, that would be something maybe. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I always forget it. It makes me angry inside. You know what? We're just going to next this. 12 million. So we'd gain a little bit of damage out of him. Um, not a huge amount, about 50% more damage, which isn't bad. Puts me up to 5th place. Yay, me! Um, woohoo! Tech is not maxed. I've missed probably more than half the guild bosses. It's just the way I run. I might as well go ahead and set my guild war team, so if I don't, I will forget about it. And there we go. Be a team player. Be a team player, me! How does that feel? Feels good. Um, but let's go ahead and maybe give you, I don't know, a third enable. Oh, genius! Um, so we could go with the extra HP, which would boost him to over 4 million health and about 400,000 power. 
But I don't really feel like I need it right meow. Like, he's got so much HP already. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, te we'll test around it. For right now, I guess it's not bad. It does give him a ton of power. Um, you know what I'm saying? Gives him a lot of power having over 4 million health. So we'll leave him like that for now. Uh, we're not going to stuck campaigns easy. What could we do a fight against? We're doing, I don't want to do another guild boss fight. Do I? Do I? He's not going to gain any damage. It'll be the same damage as last time, so that wouldn't make much sense. True day in smoking booties. I am not. I am not smoking booties. What could we do? We could do some arena fights. Ugh, I'm not an arena guy. Um, but we'll give it a shot. We can try some arena battles. What do we got here? 307,000. He has a 10-star uh, heart watcher, but he never changed his arena lineup. We'll punish him for his mistake. That's what you do. You punish people for their mistakes. It makes them learn. So this guy has a 10-star heart watcher, but he did not put it in his lineup, which means we'll probably be okay here. Probably. The burn should take care of most of this guy's team. Maybe not with Ormus in there. I forgot about him being a healer. And good lord, my uh, my one slot's like permanently crowd controlled by this six star corpse demon. That's real fun. I'm not sure why that's a thing. There we go. Finally broke free, got an attack out. That feels good. There you go. There we go. He's going down. Now, can we outdo the Ormus's heals? That is the question. That's the question. He got his 30% HP heal already. So we won't be getting that again. Ormus's heal's just not that good. He just got butt... Totally... He got known, peeps. He got known. Um, but that's only a 10-star Ormus. I don't expect much from a 10-star Ormus. They're not the best healers in the game. What's Abyss Walker dropping? He's got an E1 Dragon Slayer. Hmm. Eh. Hmm. Hmm. You know what we ought to do? We ought to change this to this. Mainly to counter other Dragon Slayers in PvP. Because I've noticed, if you drain the attack from a Dragon Slayer, he becomes literally the most worthless frontline unit ever. Because his dots do nothing, and he just kind of sits there and gets punched, and he doesn't really die easily, he just doesn't do any damage at all. So we're going to put the Honest Heart on him, so that every time he attacks that frontline dude... This, in this case, Dragon Slayer, he's going to break his attack a little bit. That's what I want. The less attack that Dragon Slayer has, the less dangerous he's going to be. And he's still going to be taking full damage from mine, unless he's got the similar setup on his. Either way, this is 10 star Dragon Slayer versus E3. He's probably not going to win. Um, he's definitely not going to win. Um, but, you know, if I was fighting an E3 Dragon Slayer, I feel like that would be a better enable than just, uh, you know, a little extra attack. Just personally. E1 Dragon Slayer, what are you rocking? Let's take a look, see. Let's do, ooh, Valkyrie. Why do you have a Valkyrie picture? I don't know. I don't know. He's doing a lot of 10 star. E1 Honor Guard, ooh. This guy is going like the 10 star route where he's doing a lot of 10 stars um, and not making E3s. Let's see if that's going to be a bad deal for him or not. Sometimes it pays off, like if you're fighting someone who doesn't have like a really good PvP team. But generally in Seasonal, if you don't go for an E3 rush, you fall behind in PvP pretty quick. Um, I'm staying silenced pretty much permanently, but this guy has no healers, which means I should have a decent amount of, you know, wreckaging with all the burns I'm putting on these dudes. Hopefully, that's the idea. So the Demon Hunter's about to go down. The Walter's getting wrecked on real hard now because he's starting to pick up those dots. He's down. Yeah. Yeah. This is why you do not build an even team. Um, I tell people this a lot in Seasonal. When it comes to Seasonal, it is not about having a well-balanced 10-star team. One E3 and a really butthole back line, and I just wrecked this guy with almost no hope of him winning at all. That's how it goes. Pushing an E3 early in Seasonal is absolutely what you want to do. It does the most for your team in Guild Wars. It also does the most for you in Arena. And you're still going to probably do better in most PvE situations, depending on the hero you E3'd. Obviously, for me, Dragon Slayer is not going to be great in PvE. Had I done like a 10-star Faceless, a 10-star Heart Watcher, and a 10-star Dragon Slayer, I might be in a better position for boss damage. But when it comes to any kind of PvP, generally that E3 is going to take the cake. And as you saw there... He had a pretty balanced team, but he still lost pretty handily. Um, so, what else we got? E2 Starlight. Ooh, the new Ranger counter. It's a thing. 
It's a thing. So how's he looking? All nine stars somehow with 500,000 power. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. He's got all nines. We'll see what we can do against 500,009 power. The Norma might get me unless my Heart Watcher stays up. But at this point, we don't really know if that's going to happen or not. Oh, he's got a bleaker too for this uh, first uh, one slot stun lock. But I don't know. We'll probably be okay. As long as they pick up enough dots from hitting Dragon Slayer, we should be all right. There we go. Well, Bleaker's already down. He's dead. He is dead. They're starting to fall. Starting to fall. He had pretty high power for a nine star team. I'm actually really impressed that he made 500,000 with nine stars. But whatever. Not a big deal. There he goes. He is dead. He is dead. He is 100% dead. Um, like I said, E3 units are where you want to go for PvP and Guild Wars. It's just, it's better for your whole team. And there we go. We've made our E3 Dragon Slayer. We'll probably have to do another video tonight. I might do a double upload. No, don't count on it. It's definitely not guaranteed or anything. But I need to do the other seasonal account and get over there and do some upgrading as well because it's been kind of neglected. I don't even know where I'm at over there, to be honest. I haven't been on there like a day and a half. I get busy. It happens. So we'll see. But for right now, I'm okay with it. We got the E3 Dragon Slayer done. Um, Faceless will probably be our next build because she's the easiest and I can get her to E3 very quickly and kind of test her out. And we'll probably get Heart Watcher to around 9. I've got a copy right here, so I can't get her beyond 9 yet anyways. But, you know, you know, we'll make things happen. It'll be a good time. So anyways, that is going to be it for today, though, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button to show your support. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well and tell your friends about it because that definitely helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one.